What up, what up? Thanks for coming back through. Appreciate you rocking with me. Today we got a pretty special one. Only because of the obscurity, if for no other reason. I was uh, doing a little research on whether or not this brand even had anything out. It's really tough to find this brand stateside. I have never, ever seen it on foot in person with anybody. I know plenty of people who claim to have them, show them, take pictures of them. But I don't ever see him myself. Well, now I'm one of those folks. I ran across this silhouette with a collaboration between Li Ning and Soul Land, a small boutique fashion brand out of Denmark. Um, the price on their shoe was like Y3 level shoes, you know? Got my Y3 sitting back there that we reviewed. Um, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, okay, Li Ning has a collaboration that's three bills plus? But I was intrigued. So, dug a little deeper. Come to find out this was a silhouette that they had already had. They had two silhouettes in the collaboration with Soul Land. This one that I'm reviewing today. Uh, and then there was one that was a little more elevated, a little more avant-garde. They build them as actual running shoes, um, but the avant-garde nature puts them into that fashion and style realm. Um, I'm interested to see them on both ends of the spectrum. But this one today, after doing a little more research, I found out that it was a leaning silhouette anyway. And again, where do you find it? Here in the States? Nope. Milano, Italy. Milan. Go figure, right? This really dope uh, boutique brand by the name of LNCC. I'm holding it like that so you can actually see uh, their embossing. It's dope. They sent me all my paperwork and documents in this uh, recycled cardboard. It's pretty sick. Uh, I really appreciated that step. Shouts out to LNCC. They had these shoes, that $300 collab shoe, as a Li Ning silhouette to begin with for 88 bucks. It was on sale, of course, but 88 bucks, legit, looks like it's a uh, low cost and limited edition. Scoop those up, bring them on over. So I uh, got them shipped over and now we have them. So today we are going to be talking about the Li Ning Wind Ranger. It's wild, man. This shoe is actually pretty bananas. From that major wing on the back to something that they're calling their uh, heat windows or temperature windows. And apparently the highest score too. <laughs> um, the silhouette is obviously a running silhouette right down to the traction on the bottom. Uh, looking like a pair of running spikes. I don't know. I don't think it's a carbon fiber plate that runs all the way through it. But it's got this sort of midfoot shank down in there that is uh, meant to hold everything together. And why is that? Because I know you see the styrofoam look. This is a Piba based foam material. So we're looking at the material kind of like, um, I actually made this mistake in an earlier video and I left it up. Uh, I left the mistake in there as many corrected me in the comments. I left the mistake in there because many people do make this mistake. Um, Boost and this Piba based material look very similar. The Boost pellets are a little bit different they're formed a different way. This is Piba. Piba based is more along the lines of Zoom X. Um, this one in particular is almost exactly the consistency of the Saucony Speed and the Saucony Pro as runners. So you get a really nice cushion, soft ride. And I haven't worn them yet. I'm gonna put, them, put some heavy use in them this weekend. 
But, man, it's a thick chunk of that, and it's soft. Now, so they needed that midfoot shank. They needed these sort of lateral supports. The heat window apparently is, you know, to cool things down. Um, that goes all the way around the back, so the heel counter is actually soft. A little bit around the collar for padding. But for the most part, you're looking at uh, an external skeleton on there. Yeah, I'm trying to think of all the features before we get to the obvious. And you see it. That sheath. That translucent sheath that sits over the laces. It is attached. You cannot take it off. Um, and it goes around the heel. I'm really, really interested in that, but I love the avant-garde look of it. So let's get into, why do I keep looking under the shoe like that? Because <laughs> my monitor is underneath the camera here. So anyway, whatever. I'm a sucker for Spartan packaging, man. So the red and white was amazing. I love it. Stout box. Um, got your tags there, size 12, LNCC. Shouts out again for uh, the great way to get your paperwork and everything. So let's get into the shoe. Um, the tooling is what you would see and feel on the Saucony Speed, Saucony Endorphin Pro. Um, super squish with that PIBA-based pellet system. Um, got your heat window accents there and heel counter. Um, you can see right through, you see how sheer that really is. The way that this shoe is shaped, it does not have the roll of a plate. The toe is not upturned, but it does have this midfoot shank that definitely keeps the squish factor together, or this shoe would be all over the place because it's mad squishy. Um, you're looking at the traction here, full rubber traction, which is appreciated for sure. But it's got this really unique thing where like on grass or, or, or a surface that would need some grip, those extended knobs actually work really well but on flat ground they actually make the shoe kind of unstable when you walk overall the fit is great um fits true to size for me the uh the lacing system cinches up pretty nicely the tongue however has no padding i wish the tongue did have padding it's a no sew tongue kind of cut out it doesn't have any gusseting so you might get some tongue slip on that you can see how sheer that sheath is it's crazy so overall, uh, this shoe has a pretty high stack height. Um, you don't really notice it because of the way it's cut. Um, and it doesn't have that, that upturn of, you know, over stack height plus carbon fiber plate, all of that. But it's just a really high, I'd say I'd venture a 40 millimeter plus stack height on this one. I'm not sure what the toe drop would be, but it's not as drastic as most uh, plated shoes wild right all in all this is a wild pair of shoes i love it this is kind of where i want my collection to go kind of where i want my money to go lately um i want to start having shoes that are maybe a little bit obscure but highly functional shoes that are fashionable and and still able to be used for what they're meant to be used for um, I love that intersection. I love that sort of uh, cross-reference and merging of the two categories. Um, again, those who know me know my disdain for a lot of Yeezy things because I think you're paying triple and quadruple the amount plus reseller value for a house shoe. That ain't me. I would much rather um, spend on something like this that is intriguing and functional. Will I be running in this if I'm traveling and this is the only pair of shoes that I need for looking fresh and getting some work in? I could absolutely take these and be the only one I have in the suitcase. Well, that's it. The, uh, the Wind Ranger is dope. Thank you for uh, checking it out and making it to the end of the video. Let me know what you think about them down in the comments and uh, we'll have more for you real soon. Appreciate you. Peace. So